So what is this course project that I've been talking about so far? Well, for the remainder of this course we're actually going to develop this course project that I've been talking about. It is going to be an application, it's going to be a full-on application, it's going to be a few hundred lines of code by the time we're finished. So an application for tracking people's contact details such as their name and address. So it's going to be a contact manager or a very simple address book. Now have no illusions, it will be a very rudimentary program. We're not doing this for the utility of the solution, we're doing this for the educational experience of writing a three or four hundred line shell script. So the features of this program, it will be menu based, it will be menu driven, so by the time we're done the user will start the program and they'll see a list of choices. What do you want to do? And they'll choose a particular option. They'll be able to create a new entry for our database, view the contents of the database, search for given entries in the database and delete any contact details that match the criteria. And They'll be able to choose these options over and over again. They'll be able to maybe create three separate contacts then view those contacts, then search for a contact, then create a couple more and then maybe delete one before they finally quit the program. So they can keep going and going and going until they're done. All the details that they enter will get stored in a text file. So here is how I'd like you to actually start. I'm going to give you the specifications for this first phase of the project. I want the program to prompt the user for six pieces of data their first name, their surname, their address, in other words their street address, you know like 10 Smith Street, then their city or suburb, then their state and then their zip code. Six pieces of data. Then I want the program to append this data to the end of, an ex of a text file. If that text file doesn't exist I guess the text file will have to get created. And I want all the data to be added on a single line in that text file and every piece of information will be separated from the next one by a colon. So it'll go first name, colon, surname, colon, address and then finally up to state, colon, zip and you don't need to put a colon after the zip. Then I want to ensure that the name of the file that you're storing all this information in, that the name of the file is stored in a variable and I want that variable to be called fname which is obviously short for file name. The actual name of the file itself can be something like names.dat or contacts.dat or something. It's up to you. But I want that to be stored in a variable called fname and whenever you refer to that file, like whenever you write the data out to the file, I want you to write it out using that variable name. Now you're going to have to figure out what that means, but you do have enough information to go about doing that. Then before the program exits I wanted to, to display the entire contents of the file as well as underneath that a count of the number of records in the file. You can display both of those things and then it can finish. Necessarily the project will be fully commented. I want you to get into the habit of putting comments into your programs so I want you to start straight away. Now this will take some time and it will take a bit of experimentation to get it right but I really really do strongly encourage you to make a good attempt at this. You may well understand everything I've explained to you so far in the four chapters of this course but understanding something and then actually doing it are what I've found to be completely different things. I've watched many a student who claim that completely understood everything I've told them have absolutely mountains of trouble putting it into practice. So here is your opportunity to get some hands-on real-life practice in writing a youthful shell script. I suggest strongly that you take it. Okay, good luck. I will meet you in the next module where I will show you a worked sample solution that I've created for this particular project. Good luck.